Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is November 19th, uh, TA, FA, and chart analysis of where Bitcoin might actually be going. Remember, these are just my opinions. They're not set in stone and other TA and other analysts will have different opinions. I use TradingView to form a lot of these opinions. So let's actually look at the technicals for BTC USD. We are at about $58,000 right now. And the one day, the one week, and the one month are going to be very, very different. We're also going to be looking at moving averages. <clears throat> so we have the exponential moving average for 10 days, the simple moving average for 10 days. Moving average is just kind of like the average of what the price is over an X period of time. And um, basically, if the, the uh, exponential moving average, essentially it gives more weight to recent uh time uh, recent time blocks whereas the simple moving average weights everything the same so in essence if the exponential moving average is lower than the simple moving average for x amount of time that generally means like to me that means we're more in a downtrend because that means if you weight the more recent time blocks heavier it's lower than the than the overall weight likewise if the exponential moving average is higher than the simple moving average Essentially, that means we are in a more bearish trend for that block of time. So if you have an exponential moving average of like 61,000 uh, in terms of like for the last 10, and then simple moving average of 62,000 for the last 10, that means at least on a daily basis, we are actually trending bearish. That's why you're seeing the sell right now. The relative strength index is pretty neutral, the RSI. The stochastic on the daily is actually very low, which means it is actually oversold. But like I said, that could just confirm, um, that really could just confirm that we are in a bearish trend. However, the price is significantly higher than yesterday at this time. But I wouldn't hesitate, I would definitely hesitate to make myself say that it is bullish right now until it solidly breaks 60,000 and maintains over 60,000. So on the day trend, I would, to me, I would say we're more neutral than anything else because of the sudden upswing to 58. There is another event you have to guys, you guys have to know at the end of every week on Friday, uh, generally like very, very early in the morning on Friday, a lot of times there's an options expiry and $1.2 billion worth of options did actually expire a couple of hours ago. So we might be seeing a bit of reprieve from the bears because of that. And if that's the case, then we might see further movement to the upside. So right now, the uh, stochastic is, is kind of like oversold, but the RSI is very neutral. The exponential moving average still weighted towards the last few days is still downward. Uh, but since the futures expired, the options expired, um, we might actually have a reversal in trend. The news obviously is fairly bullish uh, with all the like the, the amendments actually being proposed. So that's the one day. If you actually look on the one week, it actually gets a lot more bullish. The stochastic is very leaning very, very close to the overbought side. Now, relative strength index is still neutral, below 70, but stochastic is very close to 80. So it's still signaling overbought. But like I said, that could just be indicator of a bigger trend and I believe we are still bullish the exponential moving average is now a thousand points if you look at the weekly on the 10 block like the exponential moving average is 1000 above the simple moving average um, if you do uh, week by week over the last 10 weeks and likewise like if you take it back 20 weeks and 30 weeks they are obviously even more above so like on the weekly average um, basically the, the further out you go, the, the further back you go, and the more you wait the, the recent blocks, the more bullish we are. So the trend really has not reversed. We didn't have a dip severe enough to reverse the trend and make us bearish on the weekly trend. And I don't really know about strong buy, but I do think it is actually a buy. A thing to watch out for is the stochastic is uh, bordering on overbought, but that could just indicate another trend. Once again, like weekly moving average for the last 10 weeks, the exponential moving average is greater than the simple moving average, which means do in the recent weeks, we are still bullish. If you do move, if you do a moving average for one month over the last 10 months, really long term, um, the exponential moving average is actually, the exponential moving average is lower now than the simple moving average. It still says buy over here. The oscillators are pretty normal. I mean, I think they're the oscillators here, the, the stochastic and the RSI are essentially like moving towards the overbought side. And, but I don't know, like it's, 
right now they're still neutral. It's not above 70 and not above 80 on the monthly, but it is getting pretty close. So we would actually watch out for that. But that could indicate that we're still on a trajectory. Um, we're still kind of like on a trajectory to further growth. But however, the exponential moving average because of the last month is actually um, below the simple moving average. But if you go back uh, like, you know, 20 months and 30 months, we're still way, way above. So I think like the overall really long term in terms of moving average is actually positive. But because of the dip we had in the last uh, the last month, we are actually kind of like below the simple moving average if we wait um, towards the last week, last month. So right now, like the decrease over the last month has been actually enough to push the monthly into the bearish margin. Um, it still says buy right here, and I actually agree with it. I do think it is actually because a lot of the news that's actually come out, especially with the bill, the China FUD and the uh, MT Gox thing, I really don't think um, really matters all that much. But the exponential moving average in terms of like waiting towards the recent weeks, it actually has fallen below the simple moving average, which is not weighted. So therefore, like this month has definitely been bearish, but I don't think that will actually continue. Trading, uh, trading view still says it's all buy. I'm not really sure about that. I tend to agree with it because I do think the overall bullish sentiment from a fundamental analysis perspective is still bullish, especially with the introduction of the new bill that would actually push back the reporting requirements for crypto to 2026 and maybe eliminate the need for um, like protocol operators to report entirely. That is very, very bullish. So let's move on to the simple... Um, Let's actually move on to the shorts, looking at the shorts and longs. So the longs are still at 31,000. The shorts are at 1,100. So the longs, if you look at the BTC uh, shorts versus longs ratio, it is still almost 30. Um, essentially, like you still have like 27 longs for every short at this point on TradingView. I think like but if you actually look at Bybit, it's actually quite different. But if you actually look at the longs to shorts, we still might need another liquidation. If the bullish sentiment from news and the options expire is not big enough, we still might need another uh, longs liquidation to actually balance out the longs and shorts. Uh, I mean, like the longs were, were, way, were way up here. It was like 70 something. We've gone down to 20 something, but we might actually need another liquidation to push us below 10 or more towards even. So the longs still have it on the shorts and there's still a chance for another liquidation. But we did go up today, uh, probably because the options did expire and the bears don't have essentially as much incentive, at least right now, to push it down some more. So if there was a major downward push, uh, we could actually see some kind of uplifting over the weekend. We will actually have to see about that. I'm overall bearish, uh, I'm overall bullish on the uh, long term, but I am like neutral on the shorter term um, prospects of the market because I'm not really sure how the longs and shorts will play out. And we'll actually have to see how the options market and everything else plays out as well. Plus, like if we have major news announcements next week in terms of crypto, in terms of partnerships, if another country decides to like, you know, declare crypto as legal tender, that will definitely affect it a lot. So right now, like my overall analysis, long term, bullish, short term, neutral based on these technical indicators and fundamental analysis. Let me remind you that fundamental analysis usually doesn't affect the short term too much unless there's some like spectacular use by Elon Musk or another godfather of crypto. So that's the uh, analysis for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.